Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having a good day and a good week and a good everything. My name is Sofia, in case this is your first time on my channel. Last week I told you about my trip to Boston. It was a fall lookbook, outfit ideas, outfit of the week kind of video. <laughs> so if you want to see it, I'm just going to put the link down below or somewhere here in the screen so you can go watch it. And since I was there, I didn't want to spend that much because I'm going to a trip soon. So what I did was a list of things I really wanted. I was just looking for those things. Um, there were also some other things like, yeah, I love it, I want it. But most of the things were just things I had on my list. There was just one thing I couldn't find there, but I found it when I got back to Costa Rica. So yeah, let's get started. First place I'm gonna show you is Sephora. I got skincare and makeup. So I'm gonna start with skincare. The first thing I'm gonna show you is a moisturizer, a face moisturizer. It's by, I guess, Ren is the brand. I'm not sure. I have really, really, really oily skin and all moisturizers I've tried before, they just add extra oil to my skin. I tried different moisturizers during those days I visited Sephora and this was the one I liked the most because it's really light, it's very, it's very refreshing. I've used it like for a week now and I love it. So if you have oily skin then you can try this. The second skincare product I got was a eye cream because I have dark circles and I hate them. So I asked for a good eye cream that will help me prevent wrinkles and also to help with the dark circles and the girl recommend this one it's by I don't know like I never know which one is the brand and which one is the name but it says bye bye under eye and then it says eye cream when you open it it says you are beautiful you are it so you feel good every time you use it so yeah it's just this little container as the other moisturizer I've used it for a week and it's very good I, I really like it also for skincare I got this purity cream purity purity cleanser I always use makeup remover and cleanser and everything but it never get like all of my makeup off so I really wanted to try this and I've been using it for like a week as everything I just got and I love it it's really good it smells amazing everything is true about purity it's really good and yeah I got this and the last skincare product I got was actually for a friend she wanted the like this kit for skincare that Drunk Elephant has. She got the kit and the kit had this like little bottle of serum but she also had the big serum. So she gave me this, a lot of YouTubers recommend it so I'm really excited about it. Now moving on to makeup, I'm gonna show you what I got. The first thing I'm gonna show you and it's the one I'm most excited about, if you hear dogs crying, those are my puppies. They are like four months old so they cry about everything so I'm sorry about that. So yeah the first thing I'm gonna show you is a highlighter because I've always wanted a highlighter and I've never had one. I got one from Becca on the shade Champagne Pop. I don't know how to read it. It's hard for me to read this thing. It looks like this. And it looks like this. I'm actually using it. You see it? You see it? No maybe not because I suck at doing my makeup. So yeah I got a, hi a highlighter. I also got a primer. This one is by Makeup Forever. Stop crying. Coco! They're crying a lot, so I'm gonna bring them. <sighs> well, actually, this one never cries. Her name is Donna. And, well, she's like the good one, and the other one is like. <sighs> but yeah, this is Donna, and the other one is Coco. They are sisters, and they are Pomeranians, in case you were wondering. And they are called Donna and Coco because of Donatella Versace and Coco Chanel. I know. I know. As I was telling you, um, I got a primer. This is by Makeup Forever. I've used primers before, but they weren't like good. I have to use primer because of my oily skin. So yeah, I got a primer. Then I got a concealer because of my dark circles. This one is by NARS in the shade Medium 1.5 Mac Macademia. Macademia. Me and my bad pronunci pronunciation. So yeah, it looks like this and I'm wearing it today also, so... Then I got a foundation because I have two foundations I really really like but I wanted a lighter one and I got this one from Naked. It says with less ultra definition liquid makeup and it is really good. I really like it because it's not hard on your skin, it's like very very light. I'm actually wearing it right now 
like this is a try and haul, right? <laughs> Two years ago, I visited Boston and I bought a makeup setting spray and I loved it. So I decided I was gonna get one again. The one I use is from Urban Decay and this one says oil control, of course, because of my type of skin. But they have one for each type of skin. I got the biggest I could find. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's this one. Then I got a contour kit. I'm gonna repeat, I'm so bad at makeup. So I just told the girls from Sephora, just give me the most basic things you have because I suck at this. So she gave me this, I'm just taking the plastic off. You know that feeling where you don't want the, the new things to stop being new? That's me right now. So I got this contour kit by Smashbox. It comes with three different shades, the highlight, bronze, and contour, you know, how much I've learned. This one is very easy because it's powder. Don't eat my thing. It's not cream or anything, it's powder, so it's easier to use. And it comes with its own brush, which is great. Stop trying to steal my thing. Stop it. <laughs> and the last thing I got from Sephora was this eye makeup remover from Lancome. This comes with a story. I was in the hotel room with my mom during the trip and I ran out of makeup remover. So I used this and I loved it. And you don't have to do it like a lot of times, you just do it once and it takes everything off. It's perfect. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. Oh my god, and I'm really excited about this. Brushes. As I told you, I know nothing about makeup. Like, I'm really, really bad at makeup. So I asked the girl from Sephora which brushes I will need. And she told me, well, you'll need a lot because you don't actually have brushes. And now I know which brush is for what. So I'm really proud of myself because before I just thought all the brushes do the same. And no, they don't. I'm in love with this. So moving on to Victoria's Secret, I got a body moisturizer and I have to say I always hate Victoria's Secret's body moisturizers because they are just like, I don't know, like very hard when you put something on your skin and it feels thick. I saw this and I was like, oh, there's a moisturizer and I just took a little bit and I tried on my hand and I was like, oh my god this is so refreshing this is so good i love how this feels it's very very light it smells delicious and yeah i highly recommend it i went to victoria's secret also because i love their body splashes and my favorite scents are pure seduction and angel those are my favorites but they didn't have angel so i got the pure seduction body splash and the pure seduction hand and body cream and since they didn't have she is playing with my hair she's just trying to get attention <laughs> so yeah since they didn't have angel the angel scent i got this that it smells really good it's it's loved at it so if you want to try it it's really good it smells delicious and Please try Pure Seduction because it's the best scent ever. I also got this, which is a set of containers where you can put like your makeup or your skincare products. I really needed one because when I travel, I never have like containers to take everything with me. So this one was the best thing ever. I don't like wearing bras because they are just so not comfy for me. <laughs> Um, so I prefer bralettes, but there are some kind of shirts and some kind of clothes where you really need bras. So I got two bras from Victoria's Secret, um, this one on beige and this one on black. I really like them, like they're pink on the inside. Stop trying to eat everything! The last thing I got from Victoria's Secret was a kit, you know, when they have like this promos so it was this like promo where you can get a whole sport outfit so i got the hat this is so me i can't even <sighs> i got this top it's just white i love it because it looks like really comfy for working out i've never had a white top so i love it so this is the shirt it says well it has like the victoria's secret logo 
and it's just grey because I'm basic. Last but not least, the leggings, which I am in love. I know I'm saying this with everything, but I actually love every single thing I got. Like, I didn't spend my money just for spending it. As I told you, I have like this list of things. It says Victoria's Sport, and it's black, and it's long, and I love it. That was everything I got from Victoria's Secret, and now I'm gonna show you what I got from Forever 21. First of all, I got this purse because I have a very, very similar one from H&M it's, it's very old and it doesn't look good anymore and I love it like it's the only purse I use every day so when I saw this in Forever 21 it was like oh my god it's perfect it's very very similar to the other one it looks like this on the inside and yeah it's just like a brown purse also from forever 21 i got a overall because i've always wanted one i have the calvin klein top in gray and i don't have like a shirt to use it like the where you can see the top so i really wanted a, a overall so i can use it so yeah this is like just a overall it's like a dress overall um and i don't remember if i got anything else from forever 21 do you remember you remember i already have everything in my closet so i don't remember what i got and what i didn't maybe i'm forgetting something oh i remember and the last thing i got from forever 21 is this is for your phone so you can use it while, while you're working out i had one and it just ripped off so i needed one and i saw this and i was like yay I also went to Urban Outfitters and there I got two things. The first one is this shirt from Adidas. I got it in large so I can use it as a dress. And I got the best thing ever. It's this black dress. I think it's so trendy and it was on my list. So yeah, it's just a black dress so you can layer with, with things like you see white shirt underneath it or a sweater or something. I use it in my last video so if you want to see how i styled it then you can go watch it moving on to brandy melville what i got was this white shirt so that i can use it with the black dress this pink sweater because it wasn't on my list but look at it like it's perfect it's a crop sweater it's very comfy this color is super trendy it's beautiful and it was cheap so and the last thing but my favorite ah, it is a sweater it's more like a coat, I don't know, but it's fluffy and it's white or at least like beige and it has this um, hat and it is so warm, you won't believe it. I used this in Boston in the coldest days and I wasn't cold like at all. I've used other coats and other sweaters and they're not as warm as this. Like this is the perfect sweater ever. And in the last place I bought was on the North Face. As I told you in the beginning, I'm planning a trip for next year. It is in Europe and it is in January. So it's gonna be very, very cold. And I've never been that cold. Like I've been in winter, but never that cold. Like at the beginning or at the end of the winter, but never in the like deep winter. So the first thing I got was this... Um, socks and i got waterproof boots these are like the perfect combination because they are perfect for snow but they are also very very pretty like you can use them with everything i have waterproof shoes like timberland and for hiking but not like dressy kind of waterproof shoes this is the perfect combination ever finally i got this sweater because as i told you i've never been in winter so i know i'm gonna freeze and i needed a thermal sweater so i got this it's really beautiful it's beige and i love it because i can wear it with a lot of outfits i got this on the size medium so i can layer it up and down and yeah so that was everything from the North Face. The last thing I'm gonna show you, and I didn't got this in Boston, but it was on my list, and I really, really want it. Here in Costa Rica, there are a lot of national designers, a lot of national brands and fashion designers, and they are really, really talented. And there's this thing where um, they do like a store where they have a lot of different brands and stuff, something like Urban Outfitters, but with national designers and national brands. And there's this new store, um, called Mestizo and it's full of talented people who really do good quality stuff. And look at this, it's just such a cute bag. Um, so what was on my list that I couldn't find was this. As you know, I'm from Costa Rica, so I'm sorry if this is not how you called it, but I look in Google Translate and it says handkerchief. Like, I don't know if that's the name of this, but I just know I really wanted one, so I can use it like this. 
well not with my hair like that something like this so if you live in Costa Rica or you're traveling then I highly recommend that you go and visit these kind of stores because you help people from Costa Rica and also because you'll get cute high quality items also from Mestizo I got this bralette which is very beautiful I'm not gonna try this on like the other clothes because it's a see-through fabric as you can tell so you will see everything from me and we don't want that it's just like a black and pink bralette and that's everything I got that's my haul I really hope you enjoyed it I really tried to get key pieces like highly trendy key functional pieces so I hope this helped you out to get you inspired and to give you some ideas on what to go and buy and look for in the stores thank you so so much for watching if you have any ideas on new videos or anything you want to see just let me know and I'll see you next time bye